Welcome to Mysticopolis and a story about a girl named Sarah. However, Professor Anderson's tone grew even more solemn, as the centuries passed, the compass's power became a double-edged sword, it began to attract the attention of those who sought to misuse its abilities for personal gain, risking the very harmony it was meant to protect. Sarah could feel the weight of the dilemma faced by the Guardians of Harmony. The compass's power, while a force for good, had the potential to cause great harm if it fell into the wrong hands. Ultimately, the professor concluded, fearing the consequences of its misuse, the guardians made the painful decision to hide the celestial compass, they concealed it in a secret location, known only to a chosen few, leaving behind cryptic clues and riddles to ensure that only those truly worthy could find it. Sarah sat in awe, her mind racing with thoughts of the celestial compass. The artifact was not only a key to the hidden wonders of Mysticopolis but also a symbol of the city's enduring quest for harmony and balance. With newfound determination, Sarah knew she had to unravel the mysteries surrounding the celestial compass. Not just for her own curiosity but to honor the legacy of the Guardians of Harmony and safeguard her beloved city's future. After class, she made her way to the university library, a vast repository of knowledge that had seen countless students through their academic journeys. She spent hours poring over dusty old books, manuscripts, and archives, searching for any clue that might lead her to the mystical artifact. Just as she was beginning to feel discouraged, her fingers brushed against an aged tome tucked away in a forgotten corner of the library. The book, bound in worn leather, contained obscure references to the artifact and the secret society that had safeguarded it for generations. As she read through the passages, Sarah's excitement grew. Buried within the text was a cryptic clue that hinted at the artifact's location, a riddle that seemed to beckon her to embark on an adventure of a lifetime. With a determined gleam in her eyes, she jotted down the clue and knew that her quest had only just begun. As Sarah left the library that evening, the city's skyline stretched out before her, teeming with hidden mysteries and untold stories. She was ready to follow the trail of the lost mystical artifact, to uncover its secrets, and to write a new chapter in the history of her beloved city. Little did she know that her journey would take her to places she had never imagined, testing her wit, courage, and determination in ways she could scarcely fathom. With the riddle from the ancient text fresh in her mind, the city had taken on a new light in her eyes, every corner holding the potential for adventure. The riddle was both cryptic and intriguing, in the heart of the city where rivers intertwine, seek the forgotten gaze of the guardian divine. Sarah repeated it to herself as she walked through the streets, the words dancing in her thoughts. She knew that she couldn't decipher the riddle on her own. It was a puzzle, and she needed to start gathering clues that would lead her to its solution. Sarah's driving desire for adventure propelled her forward, and she was determined to unravel the mystery of the celestial compass. Sarah's quest for the celestial compass led her to the heart of Mysticopolis's historical records and the wealth of knowledge preserved in the city's archives. The city historians, known for their expertise, became her invaluable allies in uncovering the secrets of the past. In the archives, Sarah found intricate maps of the city's evolution through the centuries. She came across documents that revealed the city's foundation at the confluence of two rivers, the mystical Azure Brook and the powerful Verdant Flow. The merger of these two rivers had long been considered a symbol of unity and balance in Mysticopolis, making it a focal point in the city's history. The historical records told stories of ancient ceremonies held on the banks of these intertwining rivers, where the city's earliest settlers gathered to celebrate the city's harmonious existence. The confluence of the rivers was believed to hold a spiritual significance, and it was often the site of important events that strengthened the bonds among the city's diverse communities. 
City historians also recounted tales of legendary guardians who, throughout history, had stood as protectors of the city, ensuring that its unique harmony endured. These guardians were known to have safeguarded the city's most precious treasures, among them the celestial compass. Sarah found herself captivated by these stories and knew that the river's intertwining was not just a geographical feature but a symbol of Mysticopolis's enduring spirit. To be continued. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe.